Hi, I'm John Harrington, and I really love the YOLO box. It's a really great all-in-one solution for recording, doing webcasting and streaming. You don't need a desktop, and you can preload your graphics onto the YOLO box before you actually leave and go on location to do your work. You can have your watermarks, your lower thirds, whatever graphics you need. One of the things that I couldn't find online anywhere really was a tutorial on how to create lower thirds specifically for the YOLO box. So this is a tutorial for lower thirds for the YOLO box. Certainly if you've got other uh, webcasting or other solutions that you're using for using this is also is going to give you some good ideas but as far as the YOLO box is concerned this is how to get them designed and from your desktop into the YOLO box and be able to use them on location with the YOLO box so here we go so we're going to go to Photoshop and have a look at how to create those graphics you'll see here we've got this white faded to translucent here on the from this lower thirds area of the screen. You'll also notice here, this is not a full 1080 by 1920. This is about 1920 on the long side by about 750 high. We leave a handle there on the graphic so that we can actually move it a little easier once we're working in the YOLO box itself. You'll understand why in a minute when we when I show you. So in this case, we've got person one created and we've got person one's title and name here. Turn that off and turn it on. Person two is their the person one's company name. And then we've got the sample company logo. You can, any kind of logo you want in there. This is just kind of a, a placeholder so you can see what we're working with. In addition, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is this font that we're choosing here. You've got we've got Avenir. Two of the really good fonts are Avenir and Helvetica New right here on the screen. These are really quality fonts that are not going to have a lot of serifing. That serifing creates a problem when you're trying to, 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 to render them in a graphic on, on a video. So Arial works really well as well. But we've got here, we've got Avenir. We're using here in bold on the top and at that about 48 point black. The company name is not bold and is also 48 point here. So there is our person one. So one of the things you want to do when you're creating this graphic, I'm going to show you here by pulling down this panel, this character panel. Uh, I spent a fair amount of time trying to figure out which one of these non sharp, crisp, strong or smooth uh, text modifiers in the character box was the best. And really between strong and smooth was your best choice to choose from. So uh, I've gone with smooth here. I feel like it just gives a little bit cleaner finish in the I'll close this box out in the S in this area here on the S and on something like the angled part of the A, that S and that A and, uh, you know, M's, the, the underside of the M or a W, anything with that has an angle or a curve is going to have a hard time rendering clearly. So we've got person one. We've created a second one here, person two. Person three. Once you've created this template, again, 1920 by about 750, you can save it and you can use this over and over again. All right, so we're going to save out person one here. We're going to save that out as a PNG onto the desktop here. Person two. Also the PNG. And person three. So once we've got it saved here on the desktop, we're going to copy it onto our SD card. All right, we're going to eject that SD card. Pull the SD card out, and we're going to put it into the YOLO box. So now here we're in the YOLO box. All right, so we're going to first create our recording. We're going to hit tap here. We're going to, under the title, we're just going to call this test one. Hit OK. Hit create. All right, so now we're going to tap on test one, brings it up. 
And before you actually go in and start your actual output, start your actual uh, live stream, you want to make sure that you tap this button right here. See where it says 720? You definitely want to hit that because you, uh, you want to work in 1080p for the graphics that we've created. If for some reason you're working in 720p or 540, that's fine. Just make sure you create your graphics at those dimensions. If you don't do that, you're going to get a lot of jagging. A lot of the curves are not going to look clean. The M's, the W's, those A's, those angled parts of the letters are not going to look as clean as you'd really like them to look. So making sure you're choosing that right dimension for your broadcast is going to be really important. So before we start into our broadcast, we're going to hit watermark. Lower right hand corner, we're going to tap watermark template and we're going to hit materials lib or library. So you'll see here on that SD card, we've got person one, person two, person three. I'm going to tap on person one and hit OK. Now you can see it's brought it up in the middle of the screen there. So what we're going to do is tap off the screen and then tap onto the graphic. Now you can see there's the check mark, which is approving the size of the graphic. The X kills the graphic off. A uh, one to one, you tap on the one to one and just drag it out to the lower right corner. And you see you got it most of the way there, but it's still a little high. This is where the benefit of that little handle is on top of the graphic. So you now put your finger right around, right around somewhere right near the white line on the top here. You know, press it there and then just drag it down and you'll be able to drag it all the way down. All right, so if you look here in the lower right, lower corner here, you'll see that little, little X there. You see over here in the lower corner here, you'll see the little one to one and then the checkbox is further up here. The challenge there is, is if you didn't create that little handle on top of the graphic, it would have been really hard to get down to the bottom of the yellow box because of the navigation that's down there. So by creating that and then just pulling it down and then using the top of the graphic to kind of nudge it down further, this is your person one graphic. The next two will go much quicker. So watermarks. So I'm going to tap off that person one graphic there and you'll see it go away. Watermark two, material lib. Watermark template, materials library, person two, hit OK. Tap off there. Tap on the graphic again. Again, all right, finger right here on the one to one. I'm going to grab that and just drag it to the lower right hand corner. And then we're going to grab the top of the graphic there. I'm going to grab it right about mm, there or so. I'm going to grab that and just push it down. So there's our person two. Tap off that. And now you got your person two watermark. Hit the watermark again. We're going to add person three, materials library, person three. Click OK. Now you've got your three watermarks loaded in. Tap there, one to one, drag it down. There you go. Now you've got your three logo, three watermarks. And what's nice about this is during the broadcast, you can switch between watermark one, watermark two, watermark three. And the broadcast actually looks really nice. Looks looks like that. It's very nice. All right. So now with those watermarks in, you can start your recording. We're going to record also to our SD card. So we're going to hit start recording on there. So you can see there now it's recording to whatever web stream you're sending it out to. And it's also recording to the SD card because you've tapped that little record button down there and it told you how many hours of recording you had left. So now that it's recording, Hit your watermark and you got person one talking. Just tap there. And now you've got your watermark for person one. When the camera switches to person two, watermark and just change it out to person two. And there's your watermark for person two. And again, person three. Boom, done. So the text there is really smooth. You're not seeing any real jagged edges on the on the curves on the three in this case, the S, the A, the M. Those places are the places where you would definitely start to see some jagged sh showing up. And the nice thing about this is that you can actually power down your YOLO box, take it to where you're going, wherever your location, your venue is, and then power it back up. And these watermarks are there and ready to go. So let's have a look at that right now. So I'll show you how that works. We're going to stop our recording. Here we are at test one. So we're going to power this down.
All right, the yellow box is now powered down. I'm going to power it back up. All right, so the yellow box is powered back up. We're going to create a new event. Call that test two. Hit create. Tap on test two. All right, so here we are. Keep in mind, as you can see, it's defaulted right here to 720p. That's a problem. You don't want that because your graphics are 1080. So you're going to tap on 720, change that to 1080, tap back outside the 1080, and now you can see you're set to 1080. So now you can tap your watermarks. You can see they're all right there and ready to go. So all you have to do now is hit record. We're going to record this, start recording. We're going to record this to our SD card as well. Now that we're recording, you can see we're, we're live streaming out. We're recording it as well. Got good audio, good battery level. Now we're going to hit our watermark because I'm speaker number one. Tap that. Here we are. Speaker number one, speaker number one speaking. We switch over to speaker number two. Pretty quickly, we can change to speaker number two, like that. Off we go, speaker number two. Come back, speaker number three again. Boom. Straight there, speaker number three. It's pretty cool. You can see that they've preloaded them. They've stayed on there. They're in the internal memory. They're not actually loading off the SD card. You can take the SD card out. In this case, the SD card is being recorded too. So that's the YOLO box. It's pretty slick. Once you get those graphics preloaded in there, they stay in memory. It's not on the SD card. It's in the internal memory on the YOLO box. You can go in. We can go in now if we want to. Press and hold and hit the delete button. Press and hold, hit the delete button. Press and hold, hit the delete button. And those watermarks are gone. Uh, that's how we store those watermarks in there before we do an event. We could actually go back and add them in if we wanted to. But there is graphics on the YOLO box, lower thirds. Being able to preload these lower thirds into the watermark section of the YOLO box really makes a difference. It's really a great way to get it set up. So that is lower thirds on the YOLO box. Thanks for watching.